Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. I was gone for a little over a week. Today we're gonna be talking about one of the Dior quints. I finally gave in. I just couldn't resist any longer. We're gonna be looking at the Dior Mitza, which is said to be the most popular of them all. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, what my thoughts are on the overall Dior formula, definitely stick around. Now, here's my little unique spin to it. One of these looks was created using my trusty BK Beauty brushes as well as my natural haired Fude brushes. And the other one was created with the applicators that come with the quint. So if you're interested in seeing what the overall specs and thoughts are on this palette or quint, then just keep watching. Okay, everybody, so I'm very excited to be back. If you've been a subscriber, you know that I haven't uploaded in a little over a week. My laptop had a little bit of a mishap, and so I've been taking the time to really spend time with my boys, um, enjoying all of the other creators that I love to watch here on YouTube, and then also think about content and get prepared a little bit. As you know, holiday is coming, so there's a lot to get ready for, but I thought that it would be super awesome to kick off the week with a review of one of these Dior quints. If you're new on this channel, because we have had quite a bit of you join us in the time that I've been off, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys be a part of our community. I hope that you enjoy what you see. Um, you know, this is a community where we talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, but makeup in general, beauty, a little bit of skincare. We love to do a lot of giveaways, so stay tuned later this week. And yeah, we just like to form a community where we all come together, talk about what we're passionate about, uh, uplift each other. So if that's your thing, stick around. Consider subscribing if you haven't. If you like what you see during the video, please give me a like and we will just jump right into it. So these little Dior quints, uh, I swore that I would be able to resist them and like, of course I couldn't. They were just way too good. I've heard so many reviews about these quints. The more and more that I heard about them, it was the formula mostly that everybody talked about and just loved. And so, you know, I'm one of those girls like, hey, I'm just a little too curious. And so curiosity got the best of me and I finally just broke down and I picked up some. There was one that, if you know me by now, was just truly after my own heart. If you don't know, green eyeshadow is literally the way to my heart. And so this one, the jungle, was the one that from the beginning just really stood out to me. I knew that I had to have it. But as I was there, I was talking to this makeup artist at the Dior counter, and he talked about this one that I wasn't initially too intrigued about, which was the meat subquint. It's said to be the most popular of all the quints. It's going to be uh, featured on their ads, and so because of that, they do expect this one to be just a hit. Now, at first glance, it looks a little nude, and I thought, eh, that's really not what I'm after. I don't really gravitate towards nudes, but the more I looked at it, it had a little bit of this burnished red here and then a more plum or burgundy color here that I really have been enjoying. Um, I did have a Chanel video on one of the quads, I think it was Seduction, which I will link here. And so I really loved that color story. So I thought, well, I am really digging this reddish vibe. So let's pick it up. So today I wanted to do a review on this quint. I'm also on my way to work, so I'm wearing my work dress and I'm just ready for some meetings. And so I thought this would be a little more work appropriate than the green. Um, I will have a dedicated video to the jungle, cause duh. But um, today we're gonna work with this one. This little quint, if you haven't heard, retails for $62. I think there's like 11 or 12 of them now that have been recently released. Um, they are just divine. They're so beautiful. Like I think that more and more I'm starting to gravitate towards these smaller little palettes or quints, um, sometimes the six pan palettes, because when I open up the palette, I don't feel overwhelmed by the color story or by the different looks that you can create. Um, it's a little more intuitive. You know exactly what to do with the colors and where to go and the colors that you like most in the palette. So I think 
Because I'm someone that's a little indecisive, having limited options helps me a little bit when I'm getting ready. So for that reason, I absolutely love. Um, I am actually going to list two channels down below that have had extensive videos done on these quints. One is my friend, All Feisty, her name's Jen, and she, I think, did a dedicated video to every single Dior quint. So definitely go check her out. And then another video that I recently saw in the time that I was off was for Arahi's World. This is a luxury queen. Ah, she is just so elegant. Her voice is so rich. She's so well-spoken. I recently found her, and I'm just like falling deeper in love with this girl. And she had um, a dedicated video, one or two, but they were really long videos that dedicated two looks to each quint, which I really appreciate. Definitely go check them out. They are channels that are focused on luxury makeup that are just so, so well made. And so go check them out. Go tell them I said hello. Um, but again, I'll list those channels down below. Without getting a little too chatty, we're gonna jump right in. Now, one of the things that the artist said when I was at the counter was that he was really impressed with, I guess, the quality of this little brush and applicator that come in the, the, come in the palette. I don't normally use these. I kind of just toss them to the side, maybe keep them for a rainy day. But if you're traveling, I think it would be nice to know if they work. I'm not traveling too much for work right now, but I know that I will. That will definitely pick back up. So what I thought that I would do is I would use my trusty brushes on this side, and then I would use the applicator and the brush that came with it on this side and see if we can create the same type of look. So wish me luck, but let's get into it. I guess we'll create a pretty simple look only because, you know, as I'm looking at it, I have seven brushes laid out in front of me, but we wanna, you know, give these little applicators a fair chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my BK201 brush, you all, I think, by now no, just my little obsession with these brushes lately. And okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the method that I learned on the Pat McGrath Masterclass, which was how to create a smoky eye. Because we will be creating an eye starting with the center shade and then building off of that. I'm going to start a little bit differently, but I'll talk you through it. So the brush that I'm starting with is the Sonia G Flat Definer brush, just a little itty bitty brush. And I'm going to go right into this burgundy color in the center. And I'm just going to dip in there a couple times. Let me bring you in a little closer. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do with this little brush is I'm going to start from the bottom actually. and start to create the shape that I will want. I'm going to go in a little here, and then no additional product, I'm going to now start to create this arch that I want to create with the shade. Now I'm going to take my trusty little refer number two, again into the same shade in the middle, and I'm going to start packing the color in. And FYI, there's not a lot of kickback or anything on these, so that's nice. And I'm only going to concentrate it on the outer third of the eye. Now I'm gonna take my Chikahoto blender brush and I'm just gonna start diffusing it, making it a little softer. There is no additional product on this brush, by the way. It's truly just to diffuse. Okay, that's been diffused nicely, so we will Move on. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go in with this brown taupey shade almost. I've wiped off my refer number two and I'm just gonna dip into it. Start on the middle there, the center of the lid, just to kind of see what the color will do as I mix it. Now I'm going to take my Sigma F70. It's a concealer brush, but I find that these shades are really creamy, which I love. But um, what I wanna use is now this lighter shade. It's between like a brown and in slight hints of orange in it. I think it's gorgeous. A little bronzy, champagne-y color. And I'm just going to focus that again on the center lid, just to give it a little extra sparkle. 
That looks beautiful. I'm taking my BK207. It's my little pencil brush, which I love. And I'm going to go into this lighter shade here. And I'll just run that in the inner corner just to give it a little illumination and then allow the along the brow bone. And I mean, I guess if you wanted to stay super muted or just a tiny bit smoky, but not too much, you could stay here. We all know that's not Yadi's vibe, so let's deepen out the outer V. I'm going to take my BK202 brush, which is a dome tapered brush, and I'm just going to go in really lightly, just a little bit, into this darker plummy color. So gorgeous. And I'm going to just kind of focus it here. Again, the only intention for this is to deepen up the outer V. Do you see, I mean, when I looked at this palette, I truly thought that it was like a brownie neutral palette. And now it's making me want to go pick up the soft cashmere or the new look. <sighs> I love the way that that one looked on um, Jen from Just Glow Firefly. I mean, it was just gorgeous, but um, it's totally not. It's like a little burgundy palette, this Mitsa one, and it is beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna take the same brush and a little more product and just smoke out the lower lash line. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my God, I die. That is just beautiful. I'm gonna go back into this light color, which is uh, the one that I thought would be like an inner corner highlight, but in actuality, it's a really beautiful topper shade, and I'm just gonna go in the middle again, I guess the first two thirds of the eye, and just kinda highlight a little bit more. I think that's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, and so we're done. So now let's see if we can recreate it with these little applicators that we got in our little palette. So I mean, that's what I love, I guess, about the quince, they're just so easy. Okay, my bell rang, cause you know, that always happens. Okay, so now we're gonna create the same look on this side. Let's see if we can do it. So, the side of the um, applicator that resembles this uh, flat definer a little bit is I think the sponge applicator. So I'm gonna go in, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this side. And again, we're gonna start in the middle, which is this little center shade here, the berry or raspberry color. And we'll just grab a little bit of product and we'll start. Wow. Okay, well it definitely packs on the product very nicely. So again, no additional product. I'm just, with what's left over, I'm creating this shape that I want for my eye. Wow, that really <laughs> packed on the product. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit more with the same side, just like we did on the other side. Okay, that did a pretty decent job. Now, um, instead of the refer number two, we're gonna grab the other side of this sponge applicator, same shade, and we're gonna pack the color in like we did earlier. That is doing an excellent job. Ergonomically speaking, it is a little difficult, you know, especially because I have nails and stuff, but it's not doing a bad job at all. Now I'm gonna grab this cute little brush. There's two sides. So there's this like dome side and then there's like this more tapered side. And I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> try to diffuse the color. Okay, I don't know if we'll be duping this for the uh, Chikahoto blend brush anytime soon, but you know, it's fine. Let me just clean it up with my Chikahoto. I feel like my Chikahoto just blends a little bit nicer. Duh. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Okay, cool. So we are there. Now we're gonna grab the other side of the sponge applicator and we're gonna go into this brownie taupey shade here. Start in the middle, which is what we did on the other side, and then go from there. But I will tell you that for more focused application, these little sponge applicators are not half bad. Now I'm gonna take the more tapered side of the brush and I'm gonna go into this orangey shade, this copper shade there, and focus the color on the middle, on the middle here. And then after that, go towards the whole shade, the whole lid. I'm gonna use the sponge applicator to go into the lightest shade, which is this one here. And I'm gonna go into the inner corner highlight and then the brow bone a little bit. Then I will take my finger into the same light color and tap in the middle like I did the other side. Okay, we looking good. And then I will go back in and I will use this round or domed shaped uh, shape of the brush and I will go into the plummy shade. I'm a little nervous about this one, but we'll go into it. It's just makeup, it'll be fine. And we'll deepen up the outer V. I'm going to take a little bit more of that plummy shade and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. What do you guys think? I feel like on camera this one looks a little darker. Let's, the outer V I mean, so let's just intensify a little bit here. Yeah, it may be my lights, but they really do look even on both sides here in front of my mirror. So I think we'll leave it there. I'm going to throw on maybe lashes, maybe not, just because I want the focus to be on the colors. I'll, I'll finish up the eye look and then I'll be right back. Okay, and this is the final look. I am so happy with the way that it came out. I think that the Dior Amitza Quint is such a classy look. Um, again, I'm so happy that I tried it because had I just thought that it was a neutral palette, I wouldn't have picked it up and then I would have missed out. But very happy with the overall look. Um, my final thoughts, I think that they're incredible. I This was the first time me using this Amitza Quint. I did use the jungle already just off camera because I couldn't wait. I think they're incredible. I'm gonna go pick up more. Like now I see why other people, I mean, I just didn't get it. Like they would pick up one or two and then they'd go back for four more. And I truly didn't understand and I get it now, okay? The hype is real. They're amazing. This formula is like no other. Now, let's talk about the application process because I thought that's what my unique little spin on this video was. If you guys remember, I used just my trusty Sonia G, some of my BK Beauty brushes on this side, and then I used the applicators that the Quint came with on this side. And I mean, honestly, like, you really can't tell. And I have to be honest, I did walk out of the room after I applied it and I asked someone, I said, hey, which side do you like best? And they actually picked this side, which is the one that was used with the applicators uh, that came with the Quint. So, I mean, I think, Am I going to use those applicators? Probably not, especially if I'm doing my makeup at home, but it's really nice to know that these newly designed applicators that Dior worked on really are a great go-to if you're traveling and you don't wanna travel with your brushes and a ton of other makeup. So anyway, I just thought that I'd fill you guys in on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've picked any of these Dior Quints up and what colors you are loving. Uh, I know for me, I really thought that I wanted the black bow one. I liked that black smoky look. Once I was there, I still love it, but I just think it's so similar to the Dior Holiday Quint that I'm eyeing, so I decided to wait. But um, there's just so many others. I will tell you that you're probably going to see a review for the Plum Tool Quint. I saw it on Arahi's World and I just died. I love that purple color story and I just want more of it. So I'll probably pick that one up. 
I'm thinking about the soft cashmere because my friend Susanna also did a beautiful look with that one. Um, I just don't know guys, like now I know why everybody keeps going back for more. So if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where I make a lot of my announcements, especially in regards to the giveaways, which I do have a giveaway that I will be announcing in my video. Um, I think after this one that you see, but I've already done so on Instagram. So definitely follow me there. All of my handles are down below as well as Twitter, which I'm definitely trying to build. So, so happy that you guys are here. I'm so happy to be back. You guys don't even know what an amazing creative outlet this is for me. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.